Hello, my friends. Welcome back for the third and final time on this Wednesday, March 22nd, 2023. On the Drunk Poker Route, his beer time. We finish up today's trip through Norfolk. Well, we had one more brewery to do, but that's tomorrow. Um, with Mews. Have you been to the Mews? You need to go to the Mews. Right now, they're just operating out of their bottle shop, but the brewery proper will open soon. Um, it's a farm brewery. It's a farm. Uh, I, I love them. They're fantastic people. They really give a damn about their beer. They really care about the community. Special Brew Amber Ale with Caramel Malt and Noble Hop. Uh, 5%, 4.5%. So it's kind of like their, their easy drink beer. Because they have a lot of Belgian beers there. And there's some really good Belgian beers there. I got a Belgian Strong Ale. I'm just like chomping at the bit to get into. But again, it's midweek here, right? And I'm off tomorrow. Yeah, but I got a step take, a trivia. I got to go lay it here. And I picked this one to go last because I know it leans into Belgian territory. You want to kind of, I don't, I think, you, you don't drink a hellish lager after this because it's going to make the hellish lager just look like, well, why are you even here? Right? So I had to do that mix it up a bit. So let's get into this. I don't know if where I was going to interfere in this one too. He just loves to jump on him. And I'm like, I can't even get mad at him. He doesn't know what the hell's going on. Just some nonsense, me yelling at my phone all day. He knows what a phone is and he does because, I mean, he spends so much time with me. <sighs> I love this. All right, let's get into it. Uh, cheers, my friends, to Muse. Listen, if there's one brewery you get to this summer, please make it Muse. I mean, I tell you right now, you're going to love these guys. Cheers. So it is not your typical amber ale. It does obviously have the notes of caramel. It's got kind of like a noble hop presence. There's some floral notes. It definitely has um, that kind of... Belgian, you can feel that Belgian yeast, and if you drink Belgian beers, you know what I'm talking about, right? You can feel it permeating in the back there, and it's a very easy drinking beer. It's very, very refreshing. It's simple, crushable. Um, but I think what I like about it is it's not just, I had this in the flight when we were there, it's not just another amber ale, right? That, that Belgian yeast gives it a very distinctive flavor and a very distinctive feel and these are the kind of things that sets Muse apart right not just their Belgian style beers which are amazing but when they do amber ales with a Belgian style right this is a, this is a Belgian style amber ale and it's fantastic it is absolutely gorgeous like that sweetness play with the noble hop there's a little bit of spiciness to it and by that I don't mean like it's spicy not even coriander spicy but you feel that Belgian that Belgian note is in there that's fantastic I love it love it I've yet to have a beer from Muse I don't love and that's you know no surprise there but I mean today was an interesting trip from a a Kvike yeast hellish lager to just a regular you know sort of low ABV Irish red ale to a low ABV Belgian amber ale we talked about this yesterday where oh, too many hazy it, there's not you have to seek out. You can't just demand things and have them thrown to you. You gotta go look for stuff. So hit the road, do some day trips. That's what we did last week. This is all about the day trip. We were home by four o'clock. Hit four breweries. It was perfect. We picked up like, you know, 10, 12 beers and we're ready to go. All right. Go hit Muse in Scotland this year. You will not regret it. You will love being there's chickens and cats and all kinds of stuff happening there. They got a beautiful spot out the back. All right, my friends. Cheers. I'm trying to stretch it out because I need to take a picture, but this is a beautiful beer that, that is patio ready right now. <laughs> 